All right, the Toronto Argonauts are Grey Cup champions and fresh off his Grey Cup win, Enoch Wuamba joins us now. Enoch, good morning. Good morning, Jess. So glad to be here. I feel like you guys have been on a nonstop tour since this ended, but I want to know, we spoke at the Grey Cup celebration rally. You were yes. very, very excited then. I asked if you were still on cloud nine. You said, no, I'm on cloud 10. Has it sunken in yet? No, no, not <laughs> fully. But um, you know what? I'm enjoying everything and soaking everything in and uh, loving everything that's happening after, um, you know, this big thing right here. <laughs> you were awarded Most Outstanding Canadian, Most Outstanding Player, only the second person in CFL history to do that. Andrew Harris, your teammate, was the first. How does it feel? I mean, you've been in the league for 11 years? That's right. It's been a minute. Uh, it, it's, it's an honor. It's a privilege, you know, to be on such a short list. And um, like I said, it's been such a pleasure to play with the group of guys that I play with this year and uh, to be able to accomplish that with those guys is really something special and I wouldn't have been able to accomplish the things that I did without them so I'm uh, extremely grateful. Now you've spoken about family values many many times and if anybody follows you on uh, Instagram TikTok he who knocks That's right. knocks at the door of greatness and now it has <laughs> been answered but you know you include your family and your wife Jessica who I've had the pleasure to meet um, is very involved and it takes a team on the field and off the field and everyone saw that moment with Thea uh, your oldest daughter coming on and the emotion that took over but how important is it when it comes to that family support to get you to where you you are it's extremely important you know um, I think that um, you know it doesn't get talked about enough you know for me to be able to do what I do on the field and accomplish the things that I have um, I don't think I would have been able to do that without the support um, um, of my wife, um, you know, who takes care really of our, our, our daughters, and uh, I do my best to there help. They are. She's amazing. But uh, yeah, we, you know, we're able to see my daughter as well, and it's been just an amazing ride to be able to share this great moment um, with my family is everything to me. Now, I know your personal slogan, or one of your slogans, is make the best of it. Uh, the rest of it so can you tell us more about that and you know you posted on instagram you wanted to be great talk to me about what this all means uh you know i've always strived to be great um you know i, I equip myself with the right people around me to try and get me there i always tell people you know as strong as i may look you know i've made mistakes i've fallen i failed and uh the biggest thing that i talk about is mental toughness and make the rest of it the best of it is one of those things that um you know really uh, define my mentality whenever I play, but really whenever I live life. And the whole mindset behind that is that, you know, whenever anything happens and you fall and you've made a mistake and it doesn't really go your way, you got to have the mentality of making the rest of it the best of it. In the Grey Cup, actually, what people don't really talk about a lot, they talk about the interception, right. they talk about everything right. great that happened. But I actually dropped an interception and my mindset was, look, I'm going to make the rest of the game the best of the game. And that's how I was able to make a great play, a big play for my team at the end of the game. You know, the Argos have this long storied history of winning 18 Grey Cups now, the most in CFL history. How does it feel to be a part of it at this moment in time, in this moment in history? Because, again, you've been in the league for over 10 years. There are players who spend their entire careers without winning a Grey Cup. But what does it mean to be a part of this win? Uh, it's extremely special, you know, and uh, if anybody understands the uh, magnitude of, you know, accomplishing greatness and bringing in a great cup is it's definitely me. Like you said, I've been here in, this, in as a professional for over a decade and, uh, you know, haven't been able to win a great cup. But it speaks to the level of competition and the level of greatness and really excellence that you need to have right. as a team. And, uh, you know, to be able to accomplish this in year 11, uh, I still really can't believe it, but um, I'm extremely, extremely grateful. And next year? Next year. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Well, you know what? Next year, looking forward to it. Um, got lots of stuff on the road, on the go. And uh, to be honest with you, one of the biggest things that's on my mind is just trying to inspire as many people to achieve their greatness in their lives as well, whether they're playing football or not. And uh, I'm excited to be able to, to do that. And, uh, you know, with this little trophy right here. <laughs> this little thing. Well, Enoch, thank you so much for coming on. Hopefully you can get some rest after this. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much, Jess. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.